phoenixtypewriter.com we're going to do the uh, replacement of the transport pulley here and also put on the tab and return cords on this IBM Selectric 3 so it's got the broken part here we're going to start right here got it out of the case already so we're going to go ahead and replace this pulley real quick and uh, then we'll get to uh, replacing the bands and stuff or the cords this is one screw Lucy this whole deal there's the broken part this machine is in such excellent shape I'm going to put in a original IBM part with a nice metal bracket here let's put this guy in here tighten the back up And just kind of center this bracket up. It's got a, got a little detent spot here. It fits in just snugly right there. And tighten up. Make sure this link is not interfering with anything. And tighten that screw tight. Because it's the only one holding that on. So there we go. New bracket. Now, let's get to the fun part. So the cords are off this. There's a return cord, and the tab cord is wound inside. So let's just uh, start by removing these covers here. I have to get these out of the way. Okay. Find my tools here. There we go. So I'm gonna move this carrier a little further over possible. I'm going to take the other cover off. I'm going to try to keep this this band attached to the bottom of the carrier. And that attaches, I brought a carrier here in case you've got one that comes off, that has come off. So we got a carrier here like this. So it attaches. It attaches, let's see if I can find this spot, right here, onto this little spring tension. It's got this big spring, and it attaches right there, right inside there. And then that has a little, a little give here. So it goes right in that fork, right there. This one is already attached, so I'm not going to unattach it but let's see if we can pull this cord through the back here and pull this guy and see if we can keep this attached here so let me reach through here okay okay so it's here should have an end like this. Both sides, electric, most electric twos and all the electric threes have this style cord. Yep, well, I'm back here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, main spring, which has sprung itself off its bracket, and uh, move the switch out of the way here. Switch just flexes right on out of here. This mainspring looks all right. It just kind of when it when it broke, it it sprung itself out of there. So so we're gonna connect this to the back drum, and uh, we need to slide the carrier. We need to slide the carrier over and get the other covers off. So let's do that. I can pull this if I get along. The, Connect this to the pulleys over here. I should be able to just pull this. Okay. So, 
got it around both those pulleys so I can just pull this like it's a carriage turn. So I'm just pulling this. That's going to pull the carrier. Margin here. Margin over. So now I got almost all the cord off here. So let's just let's just secure this right under here. And the paper bail. Perfect. And let's take this cover off. Because the other tab cord is all wound up down here. I have a feeling. <clears throat> there it is. So it's all wound around this pulley. Right down there. So we need to get this cord off of here. Just need to uh, do whatever it takes to get it off and take it all the way out of here. Too bad it's not wedged between any gears or anything, so we'll be able to get this out of here pretty, pretty easily. Sometimes these can really, really get stuck in here. But this one is not too bad. Okay, let's turn the, uh, let's put the old uh, hand crank in here. And crank this pulley around. That's where it attaches right there. And I think we'll detach it. It wedges underneath the it's got a little curvature. Wedges under there. Let's just take this guy out. Okay. So this side goes on the drum with the curve. And this side attaches to the side of the carrier right down here. But we're gonna start with wrapping this side so we're gonna move the carrier back over back over this way with with the uh, tab with the tab here and push this and it's gonna pull this ca cable cable on through so let's tab it over as far as it'll go okay make sure it's around these two pulleys over here and follow it off the pulley here, behind this bracket, we're going to go down to the drum here. Just kind of difficult to see, but there it is right there. And we're going to actually use the machine as a power source. We're going to turn the knob and hit care if you turn. So I'm going to hit return. Crank the knob and as if the machine is running. And what we see down here is this 
pulleys start turning. Some light down here or something. Pretty difficult to see down here, but it's real difficult to see. Okay, well there's a notch in the back of the pulley. The pulley's going to start turning this way, so it's going to wind the cord. And we can just turn this forever because there's nothing to stop it. We're going to go ahead and line that notch up at the top there. So the notch is lined up in the top back there. And we're going to stick this little tab in there. Stick that little tab in there, and we're going to wind it on to the pulley. So there, we reach in there, stick that in there like that. Start winding it with a hand crank, and make sure it falls into the proper grooves here. Make sure it follows the. Uh, Wind us through. It's missed a loop there, right there. So we're just gonna push this around and get it on the right, the right groove there. So let's keep on doing this. Get this lined up first, and I'll raise the camera up. Okay, so that is winding as if it's on a character turn. So what it's doing is pulling a carrier back this way. So let it turn so with the hand crank here. It's pulling the carrier back. We want to go almost all the way. Keep on turning this. What we want to do is line this top open notch up. So it's, it's right there. So one more one more turn will do it because it's gonna run out of room here. So one more turn of that drum right there. So now we can get to this little notch. First we're gonna attach this cable underneath the the, the white cable goes right, that little tab right there. Oh, this machine is clean. I like it. And it's going to be the straight one and reach in there and connect this up. Okay, that's on there. So now that's connected. So we'll pull it through right here, and it goes on top of that link. So right there, pull this through. lay it there and we're going to come back on this side of the pulley and pull it back through that side of the frame so oops just make the top of this there we go and uh, pull that through so now that's just laying here and the next thing we're going to do is connect it to the drum on the top it's got to go under the drum and back over to this connection piece here so so it goes
under that, pulling it back around. So we got to find something to grab it with here. Let's see if we can get to it. If we can reach that. You can see it. There it is. So pull this up out of here. It's got slack because it's not connected to the pulley yet. And so we'll lay it right there. And then we need to take this little piece that's got the curve on it, remember? And that goes underneath into that little slot and connects pull here should do it that's not quite that's it right there so now we can take up the slack of this Pull this uh, cord, you know, grab it here somewhere. Pull it tight and line this up with that last groove there. Okay, so now all we need to do is get this around the pulley here. And we should be able to do that with this technique here. So we got it. We got it here on the tool. I'm going to pull it as tight as we can. I'm going to push this in. And pull it around the pulley. You can do it from either side. There we go, just like that. So, okay, so the cords are on. Cord is on this drum. Let's look back here, make sure everything's alright back here. Cord is on this drum. Let's see, it's all wrapped up nice and tidy. And I actually heard that carriage turn release, so let's just run a practice run, make sure everything is moving properly. Okay, so let's turn the hand crank. Tab over, tab over, tab over, all the way. Let's go all the way. Let's clear the tabs out of here too when we move this over so we can run it the whole way. Okay, so to do tab clear, press clear, hit return, push it back. Now we can run the tab and it'll go all the way. Good. So we got our cables on, but there's no tension, so it won't. If we turn the machine on and powered it up, the switch here, it just won't move. It doesn't have any mainspring tension. But it will return. It has no uh, tension. So let's put the main spring on there. Let's move the carrier all the way over here. Turn this off. And in fact, let's unplug it. Can't accidentally press something. And what we're going to do here is wind the mainspring on. So it's got a little key right there. It lines up with that key. It happens to be right on top. And we're just going to push this, line that little spring up with that notch. And we're going to wind it up that way. It's actually got arrows on here, I think. So we don't it's in the key slot, and uh, but 
it's only about halfway and we need to set it. You push it in to lock it in. Pull it out and you can you can wind this so we're gonna wind it up like this. And it's probably I don't know, maybe ten ten full turns. Like let's let's count them. I'm gonna unscrew the, undo this. And let's see how many turns it is. I never really counted. Let's take this thing back to zero. So I do have the carrier all the way over. So when I push it, it's gonna wind a little more. So okay, so we're back to zero. Let's put this guy back on. And we're going to count them from, there's a spot here, we'll start from this little notch right here, this guy. So, let's see how many it is. That's one turn, two turns, three turns. Four turns, five turns, six turns. Let's try seven. Okay, seven turns. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm pushing it in. It's got kind of self-locking. I'm gonna push this carrier back now, and that's gonna wind it some more. That's probably good. Okay, seven turns when the carrier's over on this side. Over on that side is probably nine turns. And let's, let's put the switch back in here. And let's plug it in. And let's see what happens. Looking good. I think that's good. You can actually go too far with the mainspring and bottom it out, and uh, you don't want that to happen. So, looking good. Set up the tab spot here, here. Let's look at this pulley too. Let's see. It should line up with these lines right here if it's in the right. Everything is good. And it does. There's these little notches right there. Look on the old pulley. It's got these little notches right there. And that bracket should come right to the edge of that, and it does. So when you hit return, it, it bounces right back on those. If it was too far in, you would have to adjust this hub set screw in here and adjust it. If it's too loose, same thing. You'd have to adjust this. Oh, I do notice one other thing here. This supposed to have a pulley on right here and it's right here so that piece guides the rope and put that on top and there should be actually one on the back here too which might still be on it's not um, there's another one another shaft just like that back here and it's also got a corresponding pulley which I don't see I'm gonna have to go get one, and uh, that goes on there. That goes on the same way as this front one did. It's just like this shaft. I can see the uh, that part. Hmm. Must have found its way out of the machine. Maybe I'll check the box, but. That's it. Selectric 3, transport pulley, tab and return cords installed. I didn't do this the same way I did the other video. This is another method 
of doing it with the uh, winding the mainspring after the fact. Both methods work just fine for me. All right, good day, Phoenix Stepbrother.